Okay, here we are. We're back. And um, a little bit's happened. They uh, did settle in this tree here, and those two branches there, that's where the ball formed. And what I did, this is a brand new hive that's never been used before. I went and grabbed uh, a couple of frames of uh, capped honey and uh, one frame of brood from one of the hives that was doing very well. And I put them in there. So there's four frames in there. So three of honey or capped honey and one of brood. And when I cut the um, the branches off the off the tree there, I just shook them and they all fall in here. They fell in here. Now this is a 10 frame hive. So there's enough space for another six frames in there. So that means there's a fair bit of room to fall in there. And most of them fell in there. And... Um, then what I did is uh, I put this queen excluder on so she couldn't escape after I ascertained she was in there. And then all the ones that fell on the ground, like these fellas down here, um, they'll slowly make their way back because they, they can smell the queen and, and they want to be with her. So I'm hoping in the next maybe um, hour or so. So this they actually got fell in the hive about an hour ago so I'm going to wait about another hour and um, I might have to close the hive off because I don't as you can see I'm in a very public place here and if um, if I leave the hive um, some fuckwit might try and take it so I'll cap it and what I'm going to do I'm going to take them to a place that's about 3 k's away from here a bit more actually and I'll leave them there for a couple of days, then I'll take them up to my farm. So I haven't been bitten yet. Um, give me a bit of a selfie. There I am there, top to bottom, got the bee suit on. It's a bit hot today. Just had a bit of a drink. But yeah, so they've all gone from this tree. And um, that, this is their new home, and, and that's what they think too. And because I've got the brood in there, they won't be able to go past their instinct, and they'll start looking after the brood. And um, the queen's got at least three frames of honey, so she, she's already been mated because she's the one who, who uh, swarmed. So she'll start laying uh, start laying eggs. So what I'll do later on is when I get this settled in, in the place I'm going to put it. I'll put a feeder on it and um, I'll give it um, a lot of a, some sugar formula and I'll also throw in some uh, some protein patties for them. So that's like, because uh, they need that protein to, to, um, to make babies. Because uh, they need many workers now to make us, you know, to get as much food as they can. So this this is a good hive. It'll most probably do very well. I'll put a I'll keep an eye on it. I'll put a uh, a super on the top of it, and um, there's a good chance if this if I get this in a good spot, this hive will this hive will swarm again. So yeah, well that's just the life cycle of bees. But um, very happy. So I've I've increased my apiary by one today. Very happy. <laughs>